what's going on guys James here bringing you another YouTube video and this one is another episode of wrestling predictions here with TGC now uh, I have no clue if at the time of recording I have no clue if Tyson's gonna be involved at all his family's had to deal with a, a lot recently and I'm not gonna bother him about doing wrestling predictions I told him if if he can and if he wants to he can text me the predictions I'll include them but I'm not going to bother him about it other than that. That being said, this is of course NXT TakeOver Toronto 2. We're in Toronto right before SummerSlam. I'm recording this the day of the event as I did the last time with Extreme Rules and all that jazz with AW Fight for the Fallen. And the predictions or the match card listing is brought to you, brought to me I guess once again by CBS Sports. Again, I always use their stuff. They're always trustworthy. And there's five matches that are being reported for TakeOver. That sounds about right for NXT. And of course, we've got Candice LeRae versus Io Shirai, which is a grudge match. We've got the women's title match, Shayna Baszler versus Maya Yim. We've got the tag team title, Street Profits versus Undisputed Era. And I assume, of course, that will be Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish, as both Adam Cole and Roderick Stronger in matches later. Speaking of Roderick Strong, we've got North American title match, Velveteen Dream, the champion against Pete Dunn and Roderick Strong. And then we have two out of three falls, Adam Cole, the champion, versus Johnny Gargano. And that's the card. Now, the way I'm, I'm going to predict this, quite simply, uh, Candice LeRae versus Io Shirai. So I actually haven't been following NXT. I used to follow it quite a bit, but I just completely fallen out of watching all of WWE uh, when it airs. I don't know why, but I have, and... Though I did actually check out most of Raw Reunion, and I started to check out uh, the Raw that had the gauntlet match to see who would face Styles at SummerSlam. I watched that most of that match anyway. Either way, so I know Io turned heel, and that's how the grudge. This is why there's the grudge match, and. Since EO just recently turned heel, I'm just going to quite simply say uh, I, I think she's going to win. Plus, I mean, I imagine that by the time Champa gets back, they'll probably want to have Johnny and Champa finally finish their feud. And I imagine Candace would have something to somehow be involved in that. Because imagine, like, if Johnny finally gets a win. Or maybe the final match, they truly forgive each other, and Candice, Champa, and Johnny all like hug it out, middle of the ring, top of the stage, whatever. Something like that. That'd be a nice heartfelt moment to end a takeover. So I'm gonna go Io Shirai beating Candice LeRae. Women's title match, uh, Shayna Baszler, Maya Yim. Uh, Shayna's probably gonna win it, but I'm just gonna go Maya Yim because I'm a sucker for an underdog, and she is the the underdog in this situation. Though, I do have to say, I'm quite surprised that NXT, you know, all the all the bookers and writers would want to have Shayna have such a lengthy reign with the belt when they really ha just had Asuka have a super lengthy reign with the belt. I don't know why you want to have one lengthy reign and then another, but, um, yeah, she'll probably win, but I'm just going to say Maya Yim just for the simple fact that um, I like underdogs. So they had tag team title, Street Profits are the champions against Undisputed Era. Um, I th I think Street Pop Street Profits could win for the sole purpose that they've been doing so well and been so entertaining with their stuff on Raw with the backstage segments and stuff. Backstage segments, if I can speak, they've been pretty impressive with that. Or not impressive, but they've looked pretty good. Been pretty entertaining on Raw. So I think that can work. And plus, I mean, in theory, if people see Street Profits with the titles on Raw, that should make people go and say, so if the NXT Tag Champions are on Raw, what's going on in NXT? And then that should, in turn, get more views on NXT, which would be a good thing. So that's kind of like my mindset here, and I'm going to go with Street Profits over Undisputed Era. Though, if Kyle and Bobby win, I won't be mad, because I actually just really like um, Undisputed Era. I do. North American Championship, Velveteen Dream, Pete Dunne, and Roderick Strong. Uh, this match, 
Uh, I know Pete Dunne recently just beat Roddy uh, clean as a whistle on Sm on NXT, and Velveteen. I know he's had the title for for quite a bit now. Um, it'd probably be the smartest thing to do to um, bump Velveteen up to the main event. I mean, he's definitely earned it. He deserves it. See what he can do in the main event. Plus, I mean, after this whole thing with, Gar with Gargano and uh, Adam Cole, I mean, who else steps up anyway? I mean, if they... Which Champa comes back if they finally finish Gargano and Champa? They that doesn't need the title at all. That feud is plenty big enough to warrant not having the title. So again, who steps up? I mean, Velveteen will be a great choice. Uh, Pete Dunne, for some reason, you know, in my head, wrestling logic to me says Pete Dunne recently beat Roddy on NXT clean, so that tells me he shouldn't win on the pay-per-view because that's just wrestling logic. And it's because I'm just a massive fan of Roger Strong, if you've seen some of the stuff that Tyson and I have done on the channel with 2K19, you know that. So I'm going with the Messiah of the Backbreaker, Roddy Strong. And then the final match is NXT title, 2 out of 3 falls, Adam Cole versus Johnny Gargano. And I've kind of already alluded to, alluded to it, and I think... Um, Adam Cole will win. I mean, it just makes sense to me because why wouldn't he? I mean, he recently beat Gargano. I mean, I don't know. It makes sense to me. It absolutely makes sense to me. Plus, I mean, again, I think they're probably going to end up f finally finishing the story, the feud with Champa when he comes back. And that feud does not need the title at all. In fact, I'd say at this point, the title would probably hurt the feud more, or their feud would probably hurt the title more than help it at this point. So, yeah, I'm gonna go Adam Cole. So, again, like I always do, I'll quickly run through my predictions. So, I'm predicting Io Shirai to beat Candice, Lere Candice LeRae, Maya Yim to beat Shayna Baszler, Street Profits to beat Undisputed Era, Roderick Strong to beat Velveteen Dream and Pete Dunne, and then Adam Cole to beat Johnny Gargano. Now I know this is quite short and um, I'll end up telling you if Tyson gets his predictions in if he uh, absolutely wants to. And that being said, uh, I am Forever and Always Tournament Tuesday's champion. But I am not uh, the TGC Predictions Champion. That is Tyson. And Again, because of everything going on with him, I'm not going to bother him. I'm not going to say that he has to predict here. Um, but if you watch too and it gets the predictions in before the show starts, um, I'll, of course, that is perfectly fine. But those are my predictions for NXT TakeOver Toronto 2, the night before SummerSlam. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, comment down below, share on social media. If you're seeing this, let me know your predictions in the comments down below. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye, guys.